of people thought were thinking red. I'm not sure. I, I thought yellow was right. I, I, I wouldn't have been shocked if there would have been a, a reckless, <laughs> you know, a grade A reckless high tackle charge off the back of it, though. That wouldn't have surprised me at all. Yeah. Of the four incidents, I thought it was by far the worst, but anyway. Uh, yeah, the we... James Donaldson one, I'm a bit surprised. I, I didn't even think it was. I thought it was a penalty, just about. What I would say, what what was different to that one and the Metautia one for me was no. Metautia's, both were on players dipping, weren't they? Just yeah, both, both were going down. Yeah. I mean, Metautia had his arm by his side and Donaldson swung a bit, but the guy, I mean, he was running away from him. So, I, honestly, I don't think either of well, those were yellow cards. I, I thought Metautia's was more direct contact to the head and the referee saw it as being forceful direct contact i personally didn't see that much forcible nature in what metality was doing into that tackle so i would have been comfortable with just a just a penalty but i think it was direct whereas donaldson's i think he got him round the neck now are we he saying did. that the neck he and the head, is, head i get yeah, the neck and, he didn't hit his head yeah he i get the, head at all no. i get the neck and the head are both treated as high tackle zone i'm comfortable yeah, yeah. with that but i don't think people should be getting simbin for the neck like no, that I, I, with Matautia, Matautia actually, his hand hit the guy's chest and it was his forearm that hit his head. Which I guess is why it looked forcible because his head yeah, would have taken a big knock off that because your forearm is probably much a bit when more the guy's just than your fought, hand. The guy fell into him. I'm not sure what else he can fucking do, to be quite honest. It was a bizarre decision. I think, but, I, mean, I think this is the way the game is refereed now and we have to be conscious nuts. about it head injuries though don't we after you know the stevie ward stuff that's out there at the moment people are raising money for him because yeah, he, he's course. struggling to I mean, continue most... paying for his private health care treatment and yeah. that's from innocent high tackle stuff that's happened really yeah. um, I, to- so you... I totally get i totally get that if players are being reckless if players are you know if a guy's running into him and uh, you know people are swinging their arms i totally get it that, in my view, there is absolutely nothing Matautia could do. No, but I think the time has passed for us to say, is that even a penalty? Yes, it's a penalty. Fine with the penalty, but to Simbit, if if that happened at a grand final, it would be absolutely ridiculous. I I agree. The Simbin was was a step further than than I thought was warranted on that one, and the Donaldson, for me, was an even even lesser tackle. Yeah, uh, but both were, for me, not yellow cards. The the the, the Morgan Knowles one, I think that's fair enough. It, it was yellow. He was late. It was shoulder to shoulder, but he, he was a step late. And we've been yellow carding that all season. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but I thought I thought Donaldson was hard done by. I thought Matautia was hard done by. Uh, and I thought um, that Briscoe was lucky not to get anything in the disciplinary from 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 what was, I thought, a very forceful uh, put the worst of the three yellow cards. But anyway, there we go. We, we missed some fan views on. We got into the detail. I think we're that. fairly. I think we're fairly agreed on all the disciplinary stuff there. There. Yeah. I think I, I, I echo your view mostly. Yes, uh, Mike Webb fifty eight says pretty dominant and ruthless from Saints. Set up for a good final. Good to see the M62 must have been open on Friday and Leeds fans came in numbers for a change. They did. Uh, nearly filled that. Uh, the end. Uh, shame the main contribution was to be abuse the referee for most of the game. Shame your uh, fans' main contribution was to sing that fucking awful X team yeah, gets battered I, everywhere I, they go I, bollocks, though. I hate that song. <laughs> I hate it. I really do. I don't like it at all. Because uh, you usually start singing it when someone's losing by two points. Exactly. Uh, it's pathetic. Yeah, we lost by not... eight points the other week and exactly. Leeds fans were singing it from from 6 nil up. It, it, it is very, very unimaginative. Yeah. We ought to move on. Yes. Uh, also amusing, says Mike, uh, that they were chanting Catalan, Catalan, with 20 still to go. It was quite funny. Best two teams next week and everyone else wanting Drax win. Come on, you Saints. Leighton Rhino said, we were out-muscled early and it was impossible to get traction from set one. We seemed to barely make one metre per tackle for large numbers of sets. Clearly, Alejki and others played with significant knocks. Prior's worst game of the season, which is a shame as he has been Mr. Reliable. Anyway, me and her indoors are looking forward to going up north for the final in full French get-up. Fuck Saints and vive la Catalan. <laughs> yep, there we go. There we have it. <laughs> Um, I so, think well, I think the thing well, is everyone would be the same. Oh yeah, 
you know, I, every Saints if fan, if every same, Saints fan who went to who went to Wembley in 2018. Uh, 2017, sorry, yeah, no, 2018. I correct myself. I recorrect myself. Uh, was there as Catalans for a day, every single one. So, you know, let's not pretend that this is no, we something to criticize uh, no, other people no, absolutely for. Absolutely not. I mean, we, we, we. Uh, if if it if we weren't if they were not playing Saints in the final, I'd be absolutely behind the Dragons, uh, whoever they were playing, um, without a doubt. So I totally get everybody else wanting to support Catalan this weekend. I would encourage all of our listeners, if they haven't already, to buy a ticket for the grand final, get in the ground and support Catalan Dragons next week. Um, I don't have any problem with that at all. The more the merrier. I am. I'm in the Catalan's end. Sorry? (laughs) Sorry, sorry, Mark, what was that? I'm in the Catalan's end. Good man. I hope you've been wearing your gold and your red... Um, and, uh, you know, singing your heart out for the Catalans. Hope you're learning some French songs this week that that, that go beyond Frere Jaca. I'm just, just going to sing um, Catalan, <laughs> Catalan. What, what else do I need to know? <laughs> oh, dear. But I don't have any problem with everybody else supporting Catalan at all. It'll be all the sweeter when we win. Um. <laughs> Obviously, this game didn't inspire much of our listenership to get in touch with just two fan views. Did it inspire you? Because it didn't... Other than I Alex it. Wormsley, it didn't really inspire me. Uh, well, I love, well, I wouldn't expect it to, Mark, you being a Wigan fan. But <laughs> we we thoroughly enjoyed the game uh, as Saints fans. We thought we, we played... Um, we were in control of the game. Um, I, you know, not notwithstanding my mini rant on what I thought was some overly officious officiating uh, by Mr. Kendall. Um, I thought uh, we played well. Uh, We did what we do, which is to restrict teams' meters, keep them back in their own half, keep them away from our line. They only scored when we were down to 12 men. On the two occasions we were down to 12 men was when they scored the two tries out wide. Um, and we scored some nice tries along the way. Um, enjoyed it. Enjoyed watching Alex um, smash through Leeds pack again. Uh, different pack this time. Um, but enjoyed watching Alex rampaging down the field. Roby had a, a terrific game. Um, and uh, it was nice to see Wellsby get on. Uh, Dodd continue his development. Um Lomax came back and and had a very good hand in a couple of yeah. tries, um, which was which is good from our perspective. So it it yeah it wasn't it wasn't a nail biter. It wasn't. But I don't I didn't feel a huge amount of jeopardy because I think I felt we were quite in control of the game from fairly early on. So it wasn't exciting from that perspective. But we thought you know I felt it was a, a very good, very effective win with some nice tries and you know roll on next week and the the far bigger challenge of um of facing the the catalan dragons in the final yeah i think grace's finish for his first try was kind of typical grace wasn't it so many times you see you see him finish tries where you think there's no way the defender shouldn't have stopped that but he just manages to find that crease that little with his kind of i guess not unusual physical skills but is is a is a twisty kind of guy and yeah he's got he's got stronger this year as well i think his upper body strength is but he scored that try a few times this year now, yeah where he's good there are a couple of defenders there but i think he must be stronger than people think he's going to be he's not it he was he's never been lightning quick but he's always been you know a lot of his tries in the start of his career were from speed the loose enough, break the line and, and you know, get away. Um, but quite often this season, he's scored tries by actually going through tackles um, rather than sort of just being put in a gap and or making a gap and, and sort of speeding away down the field. He just has um, this uncanny ability for his ball-carrying arm to never be trapped in the tackle in those situations, which I think is... Out, yeah. yeah, and maybe people are so worried about his footwork and his elusiveness that they're not thinking about stopping actually reaching the ball out as well, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that was, yeah. you know, that was impressive. I, was I agree cool. with what you said about Lomax. I think um, from a Saints perspective, he was 
firing, which was a, a positive to see for, for you guys. Um, I don't think, other than that, there was much else to take out of it. Uh, Wormsley wishes he could play Leeds every week, I guess, but... Yes, he absolutely does. He won't get that sort of uh, uh, space to run against Catalan, I don't think. They'll be much sharper at shutting him down in the first few metres than yeah. um, uh, than Leeds were. That is the, only, the other positive is Metautia. He's really started to um, be more effective for us, um, other than obviously getting himself put in the sim bin for whatever reason. Um, but th- there was that uh, Percival's try down the left was really nice where Matauti had jumped in down the blind side and used lovely soft hands to put uh, Percival into into the gap. We're seeing a lot more of that sort of more creative second row play from Matauti in the second half of the season. He seems to have settled in a little bit. So, um yeah, he he he. Uh, very pleased to see him coming along, um, and uh, it looks. I think we're all fit for the final. Um, I don't think there's still a little bit of umming and ahhing about Percival's hamstring and whether because he came off near the end, which is why Wellsby went back on. I think probably just to save it from tightening up again. Yeah, and there's uh, a question over Wellsby's shoulder, isn't there? But that seems oh, to be th- answered in the okay. positive. Yeah, no, I think, I think, yeah, I think Wellsby's shoulder's okay. Um, it was a stinger, I think. So I, I think his shoulder's okay. I think there's a little bit of a question mark about Percy's ham, hamstring um, and whether whether that's okay. But I think they'll just get the physios on the job and he'll he'll be on the field. And I guess uh, Joel Thompson is the other question mark over whether he'll be in the 17 or not, isn't he? I, I don't. I, I guess. Yeah, no, I don't think. I, I, I'll be if. Unless someone pulls up in training this week, I'll be amazed if it's not the same. 17 for the for the final. Fair enough. Um, stat line of the week, we're just going to go with the biggest number and go with Tom Davies' 199 metres as the stat line of the week. Player of the week. Wormsley. 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 Um... Uh, it, it, to be to be honest, Mark, I think he's. I know Lomax was in the Man of Steel running. And I, I understand why. I understand all the scoring systems, but Alex Wormsley's been our best player this year. He, he's he he's been playing 55 minutes a game, um, which is 15 minutes, which for a prop forward is a lot of minutes, and it's you know 15 minutes more than he's been playing uh, in in previous seasons. He's been chewing up the meters. And we rely on Alex really laying that platform up front to to be able to move our, move the ball around uh, in the back. So he's, he's for me, I think he's been our best player this year. Yeah, for a highlight of the week, I'll go with uh, Josh Drinkwater's try. I think it was a really good read by him to to jump out and grab that one in the, kind of in the middle of the field. It wasn't super out wide. It wasn't a put on a plate for the. Um, for the defender interception like the one we saw in the NRL grand final. He had to work for it and and uh, so I'm gonna go with that one. What about you? Uh that was a good that was a really good try. My only surprise was no one could catch him because he seemed like he was running through treacle. I think football. he was surprised. <laughs> I think the first twenty metres of his run he thought he was gonna get caught and then the last sort of thirty metres he kinda of realised no one was getting to him. What's going on? Okay, I, I think that's a, a perfectly fair call. Uh, I'll go with I'll go though with uh, Regan Grace's first try, which we've already talked about, which was not only a really good finish from Grace, but some some very nice hands from um, from Saints, including yeah, yeah. a lovely ball from uh, Lomax who got clobbered uh, as as he passed it, which is which is what usually happens uh, to to make the space out wide. So that, that yeah, was... you've got to be willing to dip into the line to create yeah. stuff. Um, you know, if Wigan had halfbacks that did that, we might have been talking about that side this week. Oh, there, <laughs> there you go. Uh, predictions: Me and Sarah both went two out of two. I think it was one of the more easy ones to go with this week. <laughs> In terms of the host Super Brew, Alan is top. David, you're second wearing the yellow cap. I think you have to have things go perfectly for you this week and badly for Alan for you to overtake him but I don't think I think it's in the realm of possibility still come on, Alan. come on Alan predict Catalan predict Catalan why do you want to hand it to him anyway <laughs> um, 
Sarah third, I was fourth, Tim fifth.